Hey there, I'm Chantastic. This is React Holiday, a 25-day crash course through React, and today is day 18, our third day on the Use Reducer State Hook. We talked about Use Reducer and how to it's more advanced than Use State. We also talked about actions and how those are objects with a type property um, that we can use to perform different actions on our state. Now, up to this point, we haven't done anything particularly advanced. We have our old state, which you can see is grayed out, we're not using it at all, and we only return the new state. Now, I wanna show you what it looks like to simply merge new things onto that state object or modify the state object that we got before and return something new on it. Now, I'm gonna start by uh, changing our initial state, okay? Remember, the second argument is our initial state. And instead of it all being about Pokemon, I'm gonna zoom out one level, we'll have a state object, and inside there, there will be a Pokemon uh, property. So Pokemon is null by default. Now, when we get this, this uh, array back in return, and now we're getting an object here, and so I wanna destructure Pokemon off of that object. And in this case, as we add properties, um, I can just grab all of those in this value called state so I can use those from this this object that collects everything that isn't the Pokemon now state we have that how do we modify it well we can return a new object we can spread out all of the state that we had before the previous state and then just change the thing that we want to change so Pokemon is action dot payload now if we click around real quick we should see that everything still works if I can click on different Pokemon, and it does. So now what we've done is we've given ourselves a little bit of space to actually uh, incorporate more state into this reducer.